Welcome everyone to Beyond the Adventure. Today's episode is Valley Forge, and I'm going to get started by leaving the opening dialogue in, and then I will continue talking once that gets through. Happy Wednesday, everyone, and welcome to Adventure Wednesday. Right now, I'm just outside of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where during the winter months of 1776 and 1778, George Washington stations his army here during the Revolutionary War. Starvation, malnutrition, disease, and also lack of proper clothing for the winter environment led to the death of over 2,500 American soldiers. Anyways, I have never been here before, and learning about it in history class and also reading books, I always found it very interesting. So today, I thought I would take you guys around with me as I explore Valley Forge for the first time let's get started okay so first up it was actually 1777 and 1778 I don't know why I said 1776 also apparently I have been here before but I was really really young we drove through it we didn't really stop at anything we drove by the main focal point of the National Park here but anyways getting started I went past the visitor center that is where like the opening shot was where the sign is Pulling in here, there was a cool little like stone monument on the right hand side when you're driving in. It's all pretty much one way streets except for like the main road that goes in there. So you can't really miss it if you pull in from that road. I'm not exactly sure which road it was, but either way, I got to this point, got to this parking spot, decided to pull over. There's a cool looking cannon right here. And there's also in this shot right here, if you look all the way to the left, there's another cannon off in the distance. But this was where there was a General Merlenberg, Merlenberger, I'm going to mispronounce that name, but he had a bunch of huts stationed there and troops and everything like that. So you can see by the landscape where they built up the hills and everything to give themselves a defensive position. That tree, only wonder how old that tree is. That thing's got to be maybe 100, 150 years old. I don't think it was actually here when all this was going on. But the thing that I always found so interesting about Valley Forge here was the fact that this was all like farmer's land and woods and stuff like that and the troops came and they completely destroyed the land. They, you know, took uh, farmers' houses, they put their cabins, they knocked down trees to make cabins and everything. Now that is a fort right there. You can see the wood spikes sticking out. I forgot what they were exactly called, but that's to prevent like horses and stuff from just running and charging up right into there and taking over. This was a spot I was talking about. It was kind of raised up here, so I'm wondering if there were a couple of huts or something else, like log cabins that they had built up in there, or if it was just like a fortifying position that they would hide behind the hill to, you know, defend their territory. Either way, you can see there's, you know, like condos and houses off in the distance, but all this land here was cleared out during the Revolutionary War. All right, just just absolutely crazy. So getting back into this truck here, there was some cabins that were set up on the side. Now, this was pretty neat. I don't know if all of them are opened during the summer months or not, but when I got here, it was very, very cold. It was just about to snow. I actually think it started snowing right when I finished filming this episode. But see all these cabins right here that are on the right-hand side? There's a couple of them that are opened up, and there was a few more that had doors that were closed that had locks on the door. So I'm only imagining that they are all opened up with different displays and things. But they had a bunch of information in there, a bunch of cool different things. They had little plaques like this. I liked that image, the transformation of the American Army. Look at that field out there. That was just... Imagine that all being cleared out and having troops stationed there and living there in the winter months. Absolutely crazy. I always love when they recreate like old structures of the day. You know, granted, there are a couple things that changed around, just like how you will see in a second. They didn't have LED lighting back then, but really cool effect that they had in there and the fact that it was opened up. This was a Saturday morning at like 7 o'clock in the morning that I was here. So the fact that these were opened up was just pretty awesome. They have this, this is like a order or a uh, officer's quarters and they have like all the you know different replica props and stuff of that time but they had it behind a pretty thick pane of glass. You can see the glass right here too. It's like that whole part was sectioned off. They have a bunch of different weaponry and things like that and here for you know fur trading and skinning animals and stuff like that. You can see some tomahawks and knives and things like that but moving into here I thought this was the coolest building in there, the building with the most information out of that little hut area, and they just did like a four picture display, I guess you would start on one side, work your way around, and it showed the transformation of the land, 
this is a cool little plaque as well talking about the city of huts and saying how this is an essential position on the front line and as to why Valley Forge was chosen to be the location. It was so close to Philadelphia, and they actually had their troops, George Washington had the troops stationed in another part. It wasn't actually the Valley Forge area. It was like a swamp area, and they ended up moving to this area right in time for winter. If my history serves me correctly now, driving towards the, the main center of the park, the main focal point of the park, I saw there was another plaque right there. I think it was pretty much the same one that I passed by before. I saw this cabin here. I didn't know if there would be anything different, but just looking out that view was absolutely crazy to think that people back in the day, you know, 200, 300 years ago, just completely cleared out that land by hand with, you know, some animals and some minor farm equipment. They didn't have the machinery, the diesel powered stuff that we have today. It's just tremendously awe-inspiring, I guess is a word that I'm looking for. Like I said, there wasn't really anything in that cabin, so I got back in the truck. And coming up is the main, the Memorial Arch, the Valley Forge Memorial Arch, I believe it's called. But they have an inscription from George Washington up on the top of it. I showed you that was the opening clip for this episode. But in a second here, I'm going to pull up and park, and I'll show you guys the clip again. They have these signs scattered throughout the park, so it's really cool if you stop to read them. This thing is absolutely massive. I would say you could probably get, if you were to stand a tractor trailer with a, a you know 50 foot long trailer on its back, if you were to stand it there, you could probably get one and a half of them up there. I mean, you could park a pickup truck and a couple of cars in it sideways. This thing is massive. I really didn't think it was that big because right when you get into, a park, into the park, a couple of those signs show the monument there, but nonetheless, this thing is huge. There are inscriptions here, really, really cool stonework. You can see how there's like copper or something in there because it's all got that greenish tint to it, kind of like the Statue of Liberty. That ceiling was pretty cool with the, the rock work and the, you know, scribes and the, the chiseling out of the rock there is the word that I'm looking for. And there's the little inscription that I was talking about. It's up at the top there. It was very, very windy that day. And like I said, it started snowing a little while after that. So the next episode that you're going to see, or the episode that you actually saw this morning, was the day after this where it snowed. We went to the penitentiary. So if you guys want to check that video out, the link will be up here or down below in the description. Anyways, moving on, I didn't really know where to go from here because, like I said, this was this was right before Christmas. A lot of the things were closed because it is winter. I took this right down this road here, and there wasn't really anything there. It just led me down to a dirt road, and it looked like there were a couple of hiking trails. That on the left there was an access road for maintenance, like a maintenance shed or something was down there. Trying to figure out where to go. I guess there was more things over that way, like more monuments. There weren't any structures. Now you'll see there's some cabins and other things coming up here. They'll be on the left-hand side. There's also a statue up here on the hill. You might be able to see it, might not. I pulled over here because I was just, I was trying to find somewhere to park to show you guys some more stuff, but everything was closed off. They had gates closed. Now coming down here, it almost looks like they're like there's some houses or something they're going to be developing in there this is just more of the park right here i'm assuming there isn't really there's another gate right there to a uh, welcoming center that was closed off there like i said there wasn't that many places that were open and there wasn't really any clear direction that you were still in the park there's some more buildings there that i would have loved to check out if they were open there's another like cool church or something right there there's a bunch of cars parked there but I don't think you could have gotten into the building because it was the weekend. But like I said, I just, I wish there were signs that said, oh, hey, this is over here, that's over here. Some parks have like little tiny paper maps that you can open up and they show you where everything is. This, the maps that they showed on the little dioramas and stuff were more like historical maps. Anyways, as I'm doing the outro, that is going to do it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section if you have ever been to Valley Forge. And I will see everybody tomorrow for Thungry Thursday Beer of the Week. Peace.